Hey guys, Vapenvik here and welcome to a vlog. I know it was only a few uh, videos ago that we did a vlog, but it is just the perfect time for me to do a vlog because I have two things that I want to rant about and lots of other bits and bats I want to talk about as well. Um... And I've got loads of things coming in uh, at the start of next week, and so it'll be straight in headfirst into a bunch of reviews. So there won't be a vlog after this for about five, six reviews time. So it just seemed like a perfect time to talk about Shizzle. Okay, so uh, what am I vaping on in this vlog? On the SMY 60 watt mod uh, with the Atlantis V1. And I'm vaping Lange Gardien. That is, that is how you say it. Because <laughs> of French and that. That's pretty much exactly how you say it. In, like, that is how a French person would say that. Lange Gardien. That's exactly how you say it. Yeah, so don't email me. It's exactly, you, if you don't think that's how you say it, you're saying it wrong. That's exactly how you say it, okay? And you have to go, ho, 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 ho. Um, so that's all the racism out of the way for the majority of this vlog, okay? Uh, we come on to some xenophobia later, uh, as standard in the xenophobia section. Um, so, yeah, so this is what I'm vaping on in this vlog, and I'm going to review um, Bord 02. I'm going to review Bord 02 Lange Gardin later on in the video. Uh, so that is what I'm vaping on. The topic from the last vlog, what wattage were you vaping at at that exact second? Well, at this exact second, I'm vaping at 32 watts. The spread was vast. I was pretty confident it would be. The spread was absolutely vast. I think the lowest was like 9, 10 watts. All the way up, someone said there was like 120 watts or something. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so the, the spread was vast in terms of what everyone's vaping. And, uh, and that's good for me. It's good for my channel. It means... That all items uh, are worth reviewing, all devices are worth reviewing, uh, from small to big. It's really good for the channel, and, and I think it's indicative of the vape game right now. I think everyone is just vaping everything. There's a style of vaping to suit you, and everyone's finding their own little niche, which is awesome, and I'm really pleased with that result. There is not going to be a topic for this vlog, because I want you to comment on the two things I'm going to rant about later, okay? Um, the other random thing that I wanted to chuck into this vlog... Oh, it's gone to sleep. Um, the other thing I wanted to just randomly chuck into this vlog, because I try to keep you up to date on everything that I've reviewed in the past and what's happened and stuff. Okay, so my iStick 20 Watt has died. It's had a pretty good innings, four or five months of using it every day at work, and then it went to my wife for about eight weeks. Um, she had it in a handbag, she's throwing it around, uh, but she sat on it. Okay, she's not a big lady at all, don't get the wrong impression, but she sat on it with an atomizer on, and the atomizer sort of went, and the atomizer's all right, but uh, this will no longer read any ohms or make a reading at all. So the iStick 20 watt died, user error, brute force attack on the iStick 20 watt, but it has died and I, I do like to keep you informed of these things. Um, but I think it's had a fantastic innings um, at the amount of juice that it has vaped with me for the price of it as well. Dirt cheap, don't forget, six months of solid juice, I think is fair for a device of that caliber. And the 30 watt is better and the 50 watt is better again. So Fair, fair play to the ice stick. Um, you know, it would be a sad day burying it in the garden, um, which is the correct thing to do with electronic devices. You do have to bury them in your garden. If you don't have a garden, you have to buy a house with a garden or rent a house with a garden, check with your landlord, um, and you have to bury it. You have to bury it. That's how you do it. Don't take it to an electric shop or anything like that. Don't dispose of it. Uh, you know, don't throw it in the trash or anything like that. You do have to bury it in the garden. You don't bury it in the garden at all. Okay? <laughs> so you can't, I don't know what, I don't know if that's legit or not. I, but um, that's not that's not the correct way. There's a professional ways to dispose of batteries and electronics. So do that instead, okay? Um, so yeah, so that has died. My iStick 20 has died. I wanted to tell you guys about that quick vape and then okay I'll stop vaping so much now 
so in the previous vlog, um, this we now we've now moved on to the section where I'm telling you what's coming up. In the previous vlog, I said that I thought Tesla might have fallen out with me um, because of the reviews that I did previously for the stuff that uh, just didn't turn out great. The 120 watt device specifically, because um, don't forget I loved the Invader 2, and there's an Invader 2.5 now, sort of. There's a limited edition Invader 2 with a different type of wood. It looks awesome. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I thought they might have fallen out with me, but they got back in touch, and they've just been super busy, and they're sending me three items, everything's cool, with Tesla. They are sending me the Tesla 2, uh, which is a dual parallel 18650 mod, with the batteries locked in, and you have to charge it via USB, uh, and it can vape down to 0.1 ohm, and it's a dual parallel box, which is going to be perfect for me for this, because I vape really low on this, and I want to put it across two batteries, not one. Um, and I, I'm really happy. that I think, I think that's going to work out great for my personal tastes, but for some people it's going to be really annoying and really frustrating. So it's going to be a really balanced review, but I think, I haven't had a go on it yet, I'll see there might be a problem uh, but when it comes in, but... Um, I think that is going to be nice for me. I think that's going to suit me, but not everyone. So that'll be an interesting review. They're also sending me their 160 watt temperature control mod. Well, that'll be very interesting as well. That'll be my first temperature control device. Um, so I better get some nickel and stuff, or whatever it is that you kids use now. Um, and they're also sending me their sub ohm clearomizer, Tesla's first sub ohm clearomizer, which I believe is called the Vortex. And so we'll see how that goes. I don't know if that comes with temperature coils or not, uh, but I'll sort all that out for the review. So don't worry about that. Um, what else? Sorry if you can hear my chair wobbling. Um, yeah, so those are the three main hardware things coming in. We've got the when it's finally finished, the proper version of the uh, Favo tank from Yokan as well coming in. Uh, oh, in the previous vlog, I talked about I'm buying something uh, that I'm probably not. Well, I am going to review it at some point actually because I'm happy with it. And uh, but I just bought it for me. It's been out for a year, but uh, I just wanted one for work because I felt like it's. You know, comparison there, like, it's just the height of a mod, basically, without all the atty on top, the atty's protected, so I'm taking this to work now, and with a 0.2 ohm coil, 18650 battery, uh, I think it vapes great, you know, regulation not required if you're going as lovely as that. Um, so I think this is my new work vape, and I'm really happy with it, it is the clone version, um, I'll talk about that when I actually get around to the review, but uh, liking it. Battery needs charging. But uh, no, it sounds a pound, that I'm really happy with that. Uh, so that was that item. I'm going to review that at some point. Uh, other things coming in from uh, vaporneesigstore.co.uk. They are sending me a couple of juices uh, from a new line that they're stocking, uh, and it's called Swoke. I believe Swoke is the brand of the juice, uh, so I'm getting a few things from them. Vaporneesigstore.co.uk, I've had things from them before. Uh, good guy, good guys, Gary, top fella. Uh, and he's getting really into his advocacy as well, and it's really nice to see vendors doing that. Uh, so that is good. Uh, another thing got coming in, uh, grumpyvapor.com, uh, that is a new uh, juice website, and uh, they're sending me some grumpy vapor juice as well, uh, so it'll be interesting to see what that is all about. Uh, so that's the bulk of the things I've got coming in. Um, let's have a chat about what I've reviewed in the last couple of videos. I hope this is alright chucking a random vlog in your face, even though it was only a few videos ago that I did one. Um, yeah, so what did we review recently? The main thing that we reviewed was the Fiber Freaks uh, Density 2 uh, pack of Fiber Freaks um, Cellucotton, technically is what it is, but it's wicking material. And here is some here. Uh, <laughs> here is some here. And it just doesn't come across on video, but that is just like, it's like a flipping quilt. It's like a duvet. Um, you, you know, you could sleep on this. You could sleep on this instead of a mattress. This is just dense, thick, 
strong stuff. Uh, you need scissors, you know, to shape it how you want to shape it. Um, and in the review, I was fairly balanced. I just said what I said, and I, I said like I always say with these wick things, like the flavour difference. Really hard to say, really flavour wise. Cogendo versus that cell you cotton from Fiber Freaks. Hard to say, hard to say. Um, but. I did talk about its durability and it has been more durable for me. In the video, I showed you that I'd put it in a K thumb. This is still vaping. Lovely. This is the fifth tank. Um, I haven't opened it up yet to see, but it is vaping lovely. No deterioration in taste, flavour. It seems way more durable to me. I am absolutely smitten with it. It's definitely going to be the wicking material that I use now. Till the next fad comes along, even if one comes along, I might even ignore the next fad because I'm so impressed with it. I'm really, really pleased with it. It's so durable, so easy to work with. I really like it. And that's the Density 2 one. I haven't tried the Density 1. But the Density 2 is fine in the K-Fun for me. So I'm really, really impressed with that Fiber Freaks. Um, I can't see fairer than that, to be honest. Uh, the other thing that I reviewed, well, the other two things I reviewed were Scott's Custard Cream, which I'm still loving, and Shark's Blood, which I'm liking as well. Um, flavour is so weird in this, though. It's very hard to pick out the individual flavours in this, uh, but I am enjoying it, though, all the same. Uh, that was That's a Bordeaux 2 one, the Shark's Blood, and Scott's Custard is its own thing. Uh, vapescots.co.uk but I, I'm really liking this to drip with I'm not liking this in sub -ohm clearomizers I'm liking this to drip with so that's them that is them, that is that um, when I bought the Fiber Freaks I also bought where are they? oh I'm going to mess them all up now uh, Kendall Mint Cake and Seville Marmalade and it's the Seville Marmalade that's in the K-Fun um, Kendall Mint Cake, I have in the Nautilus. Uh, Kendall Mint Cake, nah, it's not in my flavour profile. I don't know why I bought it, to be honest. Uh, a bit of an impulse buy. Uh, the Seville uh, Marmalade from Mrs. Slaws, I'm going to do a review on that, but I'm really liking it in the K fun. I might as well just tell you that now. Uh, so that is that. So that's what we've got coming up. That is the gist of what we've got coming up, I think. Um, I also need to. I'm filming this right now on a Saturday um, and um, on Sunday I'm going to put in that wickless head for the Favo tank and I might talk about that in a video as well um, yes yes and I might do it might end up being two videos for the Tesla temperature control mod because I might talk about temperature control in general I don't know if you know but I'm a bit of a skeptic on temperature control I don't drive I don't have many dry hits on my I drip when I need you know I drip and vape and in my tanks I wick them correctly I don't really have dry hits uh, I'm a little bit of a skeptic of temperature control but I haven't tried it yet so uh, I might do two videos one on the mod itself and one on temp control in general so that is that as well so those are coming up potentially as well uh, so that is that Let's have another quick vape and we'll get into the two rants that I want to talk about uh, which are going to make me look like a knob but I'm, I've got to get it off my chest right so rant number one numero uno rant I'll tell you what I'll do I'll do a rant, I'll do that juice review and then I'll do another rant to separate the ranting out um, I'm a pretty I'm a pretty level-headed and balanced and fair and calm person, uh, so I don't know if rant is the right word, actually. Maybe groan or moan or whinge. Uh, I have been accused of whinging about this topic before. Uh, I don't know if you know, but I've recently joined Instagram. Now, there's a link in the description to my Instagram, and I'm just sort of posting up. If something comes in for review, I take a picture of it, whatever, or I'll show you what I'm, I do a picture of what I'm vaping on it on a certain day or what I vaped on last night or if I've got a beer and a vape I'll take a picture of the craft ale that I'm vaping and, and uh, that I'm drinking and the and the juice that I'm vaping and the mod that I'm vaping that night or whatever you know standard vaping for a fair on Instagram you know that's fair fair enough standard stuff but it's been my first time on Instagram as well starting these pictures and stuff uh, link in the description if you want to check out my Instagram 
Um, so I haven't really experienced the Instagram vaping scene up to the last three or four weeks. Um, one thing that is, I mean, it's full of boobs. I don't know what boobs have to do with vaping. Um, I do like boobs. I just don't know. I mean, I like, I like football, but football and vaping, I, I don't see people doing pictures about that. Uh, boobs. There's a lot of boobs. There's a lot of boobs, but I'm not particularly complaining about that. I suppose I could not. I could follow. I could unfollow boob-related Instagram people if I wanted, but um, it just. I do quite like boobs, so I'm not massively against that. I'm surprised by the sheer amount of boobs, though. That has very much surprised me. The one thing that's really gets me, it's getting me down, on Instagram. Uh, I don't know why. I'm talking this out now might help and it'd be great to get your opinions on it as well people do hand checks on instagram i love seeing people's mods what they're using etc i love hand checks people do like uh full pocket checks so they'll show what watch they've got what mobile phone they're using what mod what juice everything what wiki material everything they line it all up like the car keys everything and, and, and that's cool as well that's fine there's a real trend on instagram of people doing their vape and a gun their vape and their gun as as a hand check I mean we're in a little period now where like vaping is under the spotlight and it's been scrutinised guns guns are bad guns are bad things aren't they and they, they kill people and shoot you shoot things with guns and they do a lot of damage and guns so I've had a little groan on Instagram. A few people that have put guns up. Like actual corporations, vaping corporations. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but actual vape companies are like posting pictures of guns and their product together. Uh, and I've like put on like guns, really? Are we marketing with guns? Like, uh, and people have said, don't worry about it. Uh, a lot of soldiers vape. Now that's that's definitely very true, and you know, hats off to soldiers. What you do is amazing. If you if you're in the army, if you're in the surf, armed services, that's amazing. That is awesome. I I, I tip my hat to you. Uh, you you're doing an amazing job, and I know you have guns as part of that job, but I'm a project manager for a software development company. Should I do my mod pictures with clipboards and spreadsheets? I. I'm not going to do that, and the reason I'm not going to do that is because it's not cool, is it? Clipboards and spreadsheets aren't cool. Uh, I think the perception is that guns are cool, vape mods are cool, and so I'm doing this cool picture of two cool things that I've got. Um, guns aren't cool. I mean, they are. I'm sure people find guns cool, but it's not cool. It's not cool for the vaping game to associate like that. Um, leave whatever tools you use for your day job put them to one side, get a beer, get a vape, get some juice, get some wicking material, do a picture of that, do a picture of your fancy watch, you know, watches don't kill people, I, I don't get it, and another thing I see on British uh, Facebook groups as well is knives, fancy knives, and their vape as a hand check, it's not right, knives aren't cool either, I mean, I suppose they are, I'm sure they are, to some people they are cool, but it's not for this, it's not for this, it's nothing to do with vaping, and it's, knives, having a knife isn't good. a good thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but bas my basic worry is that with everybody looking at vapors and who vapors are and what vapors do, all these guns and knives pictures, people are going to go, oh, so it's something that rascals do. It's something that naughty people do. It's something that gangsters do, gang members do. Vaping is for the criminal classes. That is the potential accusation uh, that people could level at vaping. Vaping is a hoodlum thing. It's not a hoodlum thing. It's a ex-smoker thing. If you don't want to smoke anymore, vape. You can vape. It's nothing to do with shooting people. Nothing to do with anything like that. Uh, ah, God, I... I mean, put in the comments, correct me, explain why we should be doing pictures of guns and e-cigs together. Please explain to me. And if it was a personal account, I'd be less bothered. If you're a soldier, you've got an awesome gun, you're an awesome soldier, uh, and you've got an awesome e-cig as well, 
fair play. Do what you like, I guess, to a certain extent. I wouldn't do it. I don't recommend it. I don't think it looks good for vaping. But actual corporations, e-liquid companies, hardware makers, e atomizer producers, it's crazy. That's crazy. What have guns got to do with your company? Stop peddling to this cliche of what a vapor is. A skateboard, a flipping skateboard and an e-cig as a picture. Yeah, we all ride skateboards. We're all hippies, we all ride skateboards, we're all skater dudes, we've all got piercings, tattoos, massive boobies, that's that's what who vapors are, that's that's what we are. Um, Instagram really makes me feel like I don't fit in in the vaping community at times. I don't approve of guns outside of war, I don't approve of knives in personal possession on the streets, I, it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Please put in the comments and let me know what you think. It might just be me being a knob. I'm sure it's me just being a knob. I'm sure there's a really good reason to, to put on your handgun and your e-cig together in a picture. Uh, so that is that is rant one. Um, I don't know what to say about it. That is just what it is. That is rant one. Uh, please put in the comments and uh, explain to me why it's cool. Uh, okay, that's that. Okay, that's that. Let's have let's have a vape and do this juice review at the same time. Laurence Gardin, French company Board O2, vapeimporters.com. They've got a Facebook page. These those are the guys that bring this juice around Europe and into the UK. Um, vape Club I know has it and a few others. Uh, and yeah, Board O2, Laurence Gardin is what we're going to review now. Okay. So what is it? What is it meant to taste of? And that let's get out our trusty uh, board or two pamphlet. Launch Garden: Red Berries and Blackberries with an Evil Twist of Lemon. Now, I like it. I do like it. Uh, it's not an all-day vape for me. It's maybe like an evening thing, an hour and a half of an evening watching some telly, something like that, in an Atlantis, in a sub -arm tank, something like that. It work in a K-Fun, in an RTA, in a Rose, something like that. Uh, in a rubbish clearomizer, I think it'd be too muted. It's quite a subtle taste. Um, what I find is I get the berry straight away and I get that lemon on the exhale a bit afterwards. Um, but the lemon is ever present. It's not subtle. There's a lemon kick, bang, in the end at the end of the vape. Um, I'm getting more of the berries than the blackberries. I think is it did it say blackberries and berries? I'm just getting sort of uh, red berries and blackberries. I'm getting more blackberries than red berries. I'm not getting. It's not like a vimto -y type taste or a ribena -y type vape. Um, it's nothing like that. It's not like squid ink or anything like that or red astaire. It's not got that flavour going on. It's more like a dark berries with this kick of lemon after. Um, I do quite like it, but I couldn't vape it all day. I couldn't vape it all day. I think it would dry me right out. Uh, but I do really like it. 50-50 VG PG. Um, Launch Garden from Bordeaux 2. Uh, check out Bordo 2. Check out Vaping Porters if you're a vendor thinking about stocking it. They have an insane range. Uh, absolutely loads of juices and not standard flavours. They're all really creative flavours. Um, I also I, I also reviewed in a separate review Shark's Blood. Really liking Shark's Blood. Um, I have Shark's Blood in my Favo tank at the moment on my Kato box. And... I've got another one to review as well, Madeleine de Proust, Madeleine de Proust, I don't know how you say that one, um, I, didn't know, I don't know how to say the other one, but uh, that is that one, and so I don't know when I'm going to slide that in, but I'm going to slide in that juice review as well at some point, uh, so that is that, vapingparts.com, Bordeaux 2, uh, Lounge Garden, quite nice, quite nice, very different, very unusual, and I think that's the standard setup for Bordeaux too, it does seem quite, every flavour is very unique, very different, very original, very authentic, uh, so you're going to have some hits and some misses if you go down the route of picking some of those, but they're all different, all isn't unique, so that's nice, it's nice to get a completely unique flavour in, uh, and yeah, so yeah, it's alright, decent, good, would I buy it again, good question, thanks for asking, um, don't know, I'll, I don't know, I'll, I'll need to vape a bit more, of it 
I might get sick of it by the end. It might be one of those. But then when I don't have it for a month, I might miss it and I might look to buy some. It's one of those. It's not one that I've, I've it's not one of those where I'm instantly going, I've got to get loads of this. I'm going to get loads of this as soon as this review's finished. Um, it's not one of those because it's such a complex and unique flavour. Uh, it's left me pondering. Uh, but I think I might miss it when it's gone. Uh, so that's that. That's that. That's that. Let's change my vape now, actually. Now I've reviewed that. Let's put that there so I don't forget that's in there. And let's go back to the K Fun. Let's go back to the K Fun with uh, Seville Marmalade. Not sure how long this vlog's getting, but it's a, it's a it's a rant special. So uh, all the original rules of the vlogs that we do are out of the window. This is a this is a rant special vlog. So rant number two. I'll keep my vape actually. That was silly. Um, Rant number two, let's do it. Rant number two. Now, this one isn't a massive rant, just a personal view that I want to express. And again, it'd be great to get your comments on this one. UK vape shops, in general, as an overall thing, and the standard of UK vape shops, um, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. The quality of UK vape shops is not good enough. I had a business meeting in Cardiff, right in the city centre, and there's a couple of vape shops there, and they're half decent vape shops. Pretty good for you for UK standards. In America, they'd be considered weak vape shops. Uh, why can't we have as good of vape shops as America? What's the problem? Is it investment? Is it people just cashing in on the hype and they're going to disappear when the rules come in? Is it people trying to make a fast buck? Is it people looking for a money-making opportunity in a business but not being a passionate enough vaping setup or a vaping person just looking to cash in? What's the situation? Why can't we have comfy sofas, tellies, coffee machines? You can get a Tassimo maker, coffee maker, for about 60, 70 quid, you could charge your customers £1.50 for a disc to put in the machine and make their own coffee, and you'd be, you'd make your money back after 50 cups of coffee. What's the problem? What? Why isn't it a nice place to go? Why isn't it a community place to go? Get a telly hooked up to YouTube showing vaping videos, so that when you're sat waiting in, waiting in a queue, or stood waiting in a queue in the vape shop, while some mug is trying to explain Ohm's law to a guy that's never vaped before and is just looking for an ego, what? Why can't we could just be? I could just be watching videos on the telly, couldn't I? While I was waiting, YouTube vaping videos. Why? Why haven't you got a telly in there? Why haven't you got a sofa in there? Why haven't you got a coffee maker in there? Why are you not friendly? Why don't you understand the basic premise of vaping? Why? Why aren't you? Good, why aren't the vaping shops in the UK good enough? Uh, don't get me wrong, there's some awesome ones, but they're th they're few and far between. They're, they're few and far between. The good ones in the UK are few and far between. I live uh, in between Leeds and Huddersfield in West Yorkshire. There's one. Uh, I'm not going to name any specific names, but in the whole of Yorkshire, from what I can gather, there's about three decent vape shops. And there's certainly none that are like anywhere close to me. There's there's two or three ones that are close to me. They're rubbish. One of them sells e-cigs and mobile phone accessories as a two-in-one job as a shop. It's not even a vape specialist. I don't even get the impression the guy in there vapes. He doesn't have anything decent in. And what he does is dead expensive. Like a BVC Aspire head is like £4.50 for one head in there. Uh, and he tries to sell you a mobile phone case while you're in there. This is crazy. <sighs> There's other ones where you go in and all they've got is Hanks and Juice and CE4 clearamizers. What's the situation? Why can't we have decent? Why can't we have decent shops in the UK? Why aren't you on Instagram? Why aren't you on Facebook as a, as a vape shop in the UK? Why aren't you on social media so that we can build up a rapport with you when we're not in the shop? So when we come in the shop, we feel like we know you. We feel like we know the shop. We feel comfortable in there and we can chat and, and it's more relaxed because there's that understanding. We know more about the shop before we go in. We know what you stock because you've got a social media site. It's, it seems like if you're a brick and mortar, you don't have a proper website. And if you have a proper website, really good website, you don't have a brick and mortar store. 
why can't you have both? What I know it takes money, I know it costs money. If your excuse for not having a sofa, not having a coffee machine, and not having a telly is because it's expensive, get out of it. Get out of the game. If you can't afford to have a good shop, don't have a shop. That is my advice to you. I just feel like I just feel like we're getting left behind. I just feel like America's got it so good. Uh, and all the rules and stuff crashing down on America are going to spoil it for them, potentially. But let's get established here. If we have good vape shops, we have good vape communities. If we have good vape communities, we can fight as a community on an advocacy level stronger. This feels like there's no strong coming together of vapors in the UK. It just feels like once a year we meet up for Vape Fest and the rest of the times we moan on forums and stuff. The other thing with the UK vape shops is, and I know you've got more overheads, but you've got to get the pricing right as well. The price has got to be right. It shouldn't be more. It shouldn't be a lot more expensive in your shop, or else people are just gonna buy online, uh, as well. So I just feel like there's a lot for the UK vape shops to do. I'm in no way affiliated with any vape shop or anything. I think this rant comes from the fact that I wish I just wish I had a really good vape shop close to me that I could pop into and have a laugh. I think I think that's all it is. You know, I'm happy to buy online and I'll have to continue buying online. But how cool would it be to have a vape shop that was good close to you in the UK? Um, again, I'd love to know your, your thoughts in the comments uh, about that one as well. Um, I, please don't be offended if you work in a vape shop if you own a vape shop and some of the things I've said you don't do but you sort of you've got your arms folded and you're going nah, well blah, blah. It, it, it's yeah who's this idiot you know I'm doing a good vape shop then either you are and that's great well done you're in the, you're in the minority fair play that's great but if but but if you're not if you don't have these things that I've just said Think about it. Maybe think about it. Or send me an email. Send me an email. And I, I don't know. We'll chat about it. We'll chat about it. I'm not trying to fall out with anyone. I just wish UK vape shops were better. Simple as that, really. Um, I know in London there's a cafe that is a vape cafe. Why is why is there only one in London? Cafes are a thing. Vaping's a thing. I don't know. Maybe it's not the demand. Uh, but sometimes maybe you have to be a market leader and create that demand. Be a really good coffee shop that you that allows vaping. Start like that, you know, uh, and then just sell e-juice and stuff and see where it goes. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I think like the other thing I hear as well from people that go to vape shops in the UK, they come away with sub ohm devices and no one's checked if they know battery safety. Um, I went into a vape shop um, uh, about six months ago and I bought an ICR battery. Um, <laughs> which is like I don't, basically with an ICR battery if it's a normal typical 18650 ICR battery uh, you can't go below 1 ohm on it and uh, I just went in bought an ICR battery I, it was actually going in um, it, it was actually going in at the time a cool fire 1 which is a heavy regulated 8.5 watt mod uh, and it was going to be a 2 ohm coil head on top anyway um, and so I wanted one I just wanted a battery that, that would be alright for that um, you know, so it was fine for me, and I just went in and bought a battery. But he didn't ask what I was going to use this battery for. I could have gone home with that battery, put it straight in a sub ohm, uh, you know, straight on a dripper, and blow my face straight off. You know, you know, he never asked anything about sub ohm. He don't even know if he knew about sub ohm and, and battery safety and amps. You know, I just feel like are people explaining it? You know, uh, this poor guy that was in the shop when I went in. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was getting a device that was like locked in it was like an all in one clearomizer and e-cig together and he was getting told about Ohm's Law I don't think that's the his overkill as well you know and it, it, you could see his, his brain just like going vroom, 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 steam coming out of his ears not out of his mouth um, and it, it, you know so I don't know higher vapours is the other thing as well you know when you get your part time staff and you your retail staff in higher vapors, uh, and then you'll get a better quality of a shop assistant. Uh, so that's that. Um, so you know. So that's what I think about that, and I'll end the vlog on that note as well. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Uh, I've been vaping. I'll see you again really soon. <laughs>